YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review and a sort of tutorial using the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. I did get quite a bit of interest on my review of the palette. I'm also going to be doing some swatches of this palette today. I did pick this up from the Morphe website or rather I had my son because I was at work. The day that it was released, he ordered this for me from the Morphe website. It is $52, the same as the Blood Sugar Palette, which this is a sequel of. So this is the packaging of the palette. And he says the palette looks like a coffin. I do not want to refer to this as a coffin. To me, it reminds me of sort of the old school uh, little girls jewelry boxes so that is what I'm going to think of it it's morbid to me to think of this as a coffin but this is what it looks like and just on the back you have his social media information this palette is a hundred percent vegan and cruelty free and it has 18 shades in it which are a mix of like um, just regular shadows and pressed pigments I have not heard of anybody having any problem with any of the shadows staying in their eyes. I don't know yet because I haven't tried to wipe my eyes off. But this is the um, eyeshadow look that I came up with. I will say that it was a bit of a struggle for me because I did have a bit of fallout from some of the, the darker shades. Like especially Ocean Ice. Ocean Ice, which is here, I had some fallout from, and I had some fallout, I believe, from Undertaker. I had to clean around my eyelids several times. When I first did the eyeshadow look, um, I went a little bit more, I want to say, subdued than what I have here. But my son decided he wanted to be my creative director and tell me that I needed to do a little bit more of a bold look because this is a little bit more of a bold palette compared to the other palettes that I have. So this is the look that I came up with. Um, after sort of my swatches of this palette, I will do like a quick tutorial to show you how I got the look and you will see the struggle. I do want to say these eyeshadows are very pigmented. The ones that I use, I use like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six of the shades in this palette. So this is what the palette looks like. And you can see sort of, I really, really like this. This is what I use on my lid. I really, really like this shade. Very pigmented. It goes on very smoothly. I used Celebrity Skin here as a brow bone color. My one complaint about this color, this, this eyeshadow palette is that it does not have a deeper transition shade for people of color. That is the one thing that I can say that is bad about this palette. The price I think is really, really a good value considering all of the shadows that you get and the quality of the shadows. And it's pretty much comparable to the other higher end palettes. But the packaging for me of his um, products takes it over the top and I really, really feel like it was worth the $52. So I'm gonna give you another look. <laughs> And it does kind of crumble in the pan also. But I'm going to give you another sort of close-up look here. And then I'm going to do some swatches. And it's upside down. So turn it this way. I just didn't want to blind you with my... Um, thing. But this is what... And my camera is sort of washing these shades out. But this is what the shadows look like up close. And we will get to swatching. I am going to pull my trusty Bolero makeup wipe out. And we are going to swatch first this top row. The only shade that I used in this top row was Crystal Flesh. Crystal Flesh, if you can see my inner corner, I used as a highlight. It is gorgeous. My next plan when I use this palette is to use Crystal Flesh all over my lid and then I want to use this shade here entitled which I used on the lid as an inner corner color that is what the next look is going to be but we will get started so the first 
shade here. Well, I'm going to tell you the shades that are at the top here. So here you have Cullinan, you have Minty, you have Crystal Flash, you have I'm Cold, uh, Untouchable is here, which is a really pretty color, and Priceless is here. Priceless, I think I would use to set my um, eyeshadow base, but we are going to swatch Cullinan first, and you almost hate to, they go on so so smooth and buttery. This is so pretty. But this is Cullinan. Only thing I hate is that <clears throat> I'm messing up the imprints. And he has like special imprints. Like Cullinan has a diamond in it. Um, and Priceless has lips. Blue Blood has a crown. Blue Monday has a storm cloud. Wealthy has a money bag. And then Undertaker has a coffin. Everything else is just his regular logo. But this is Cullinan. The next one is a matte, and this one is minty, gorgeous, and this is one swatch. This is minty. Comes off looking a little white on my camera because my camera is sort of washing things out, but it is definitely a mint color. The next one is Crystal Flash, which is gorgeous, and like I said, I use this on my inner corner. These shadows are absolutely smooth and buttery. I am loving like the quality of the shadows. Like I said, the quality of his shadows is undeniable. No matter how you feel about him as a person, the quality is undeniable. This one is I'm Cold. And I'm Cold comes off a little bit patchy. But it still has a decent color payoff. The next one is I'm Touchable, which is sort of a baby pink sort of color to me. And this is I'm Cold. And then the last one here is Priceless. And we will swatch Priceless right there. And that's a terrible swatch. But that is, pri that is Priceless. So this is the top row. Absolutely pretty and pastel. The next row gets a little more bold, and you have Power, you have Blue Blood with the Crown, you have Deceased, you have Ice Tray, you have with the Storm Cloud, Blue Monday, and then at the end here is Flourishing. So we are going to start with Power, which is a deep dark gray color. And I'm going to swatch it on the opposite hand while this one dries. But this is Power, a deep dark gray. It looks like it has a little bit of blue in it. The next one is Blue Blood. Gorgeous, one swatch. The next one is Deceased, which is one of the ones that I used on my eyes today. Gorgeous. Ice Tray is one of the more metallic, buttery, gorgeous. This one down here is Ice Tray. And what's funny is the top one you get a feeling of like spring and happiness and all that. This one you get a sort of feel of like a gray rainy day. Um, this one, Blue Monday, is really pretty. This is like a purple sort of blue. In the pan, it looks blue. When you put it on your hand, it looks purple. And then this last one is sort of a dark teal, gorgeous. And this one is called Flourishing. So this is the second row. And I will wipe that off. And I will show you that those... This is how it came off. So, I mean, it, I see a little bit of blue on my hand, but not too bad. The last row is here. So you have Wealthy here, and this one has the print of the money bag. Then you have Celebrity Skin and Entitled. And then Ocean Ice, I think that one is, which is gorgeous. This is like the only straight up glitter I see. Uh, then you have cremated here, and then you have Undertaker here. So we will swatch those. Money bag would be, I think, a good brow bone color. 
and it went on very smoothly, nicely pigmented. The next one is Celebrity Skin, which I used as a brow bone color today. And he also has a liquid lipstick that matches Celebrity Skin, or that's this Celebrity Skin matches. Entitled is very soft, but gorgeous. Entitled with my first dip into the brush, his logo is gone. This one, you don't, and I just put some more on my hand. You don't have to use a lot of pressure with, just sort of be careful with it because it seems to me to be a little bit fragile. Um, the next one is Ocean Ice. Ocean Ice feels creamy. This is another one that you should be gentle with. Yikes, that is gorgeous. In the pan, it comes up as a glitter. And when I put it on my brush, it kind of went on my, because I put it on my lower lash line, it kind of went on as a glitter as well. The next one is Cremated, which is another dark gray but it's a little darker than Power. And then the last one is Undertaker, which is a deep, dark navy blue. And we'll put that beside that. And that is what that looks like. I absolutely love this palette. Now, to be honest with you, it is not everyday wearable, not for me anyway. I mean, I could probably take like Crystal Flash, Priceless, Celebrity Skin, those colors, these sort of neutral peachy type colors here and, and use those every day. Um, and then also use the other ones as, as pops of color. But a look like I have on my eyes today, it's not anything that I could wait to work for sure. But once again, this is the palette. The packaging is very sturdy. I do believe that you could take this with you traveling and not have a fear of your shadows breaking. You could also sit this on like a dresser or something and it could be like really pretty on your dresser. The mirror is gorgeous and clear. And I love this palette. Um, if you want to see what or how I got the look that I have today, keep watching. Trust that the struggle was real and it's not because the shadows mm -hmm. were bad. It's because they're like pressed pigments and the the ocean ice had some fallout and I just had to keep cleaning it up. But it was a learning curve for me. But I like the look that I came up with. And if you want to see how I got it, keep watching. If you enjoyed my video, because I won't be saying this at the end, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.